Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. The family of North Jersey Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill has been hit by the coronavirus. Luckily, everybody's okay now. And she's back to work. She says she's fighting for more money for New Jersey. Here's our interview with 11th District Democratic Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill. Congresswoman, thank you so much for doing this. Just a quick check. I know the coronavirus hit your family personally. Everybody's doing fine. They are. Thanks so much for asking. My husband's fully recovered and, and everyone's doing well. Thank you. Let's talk about this coalition that you're getting credit for spearheading, a nonpartisan coalition of representatives throughout New York and New Jersey. And you're working on trying to get everything back to normal to try to at least get some openings at this point? Yeah, so as you know, we have been the hardest hit region in the entire country. We, uh, between New York and New Jersey, we have about 45% of the coronavirus cases nationwide. And luckily, I talk to our hospital systems every single morning. Luckily, we're, we've seen the curve flatten and we're now on the, the downside. We're now seeing cases come down. So a couple weeks ago, I started to talk with members of the region about how we were going to safely get people back to work. And as you know, the governors have formed a, a regional block of governors so that they can discuss how to do things in, in concert with each other. Because obviously here in North Jersey, if Manhattan, op Manhattan opens up, you know, that's going to impact us. So we need to act as a region and make decisions as a region. So I formed a regional task force as well with our members of Congress. Why is that important? Because the final say is going to be the governors, right? Why is it important that the Congress people get together as well? Because we need federal legislative support here. We need money coming into our state. Um, to date, we have just not received the type of support from the federal government that our region needs to fully recover. Um, despite the fact that we have the second most cases in the nation in New Jersey of all the block grant funding to states, we only got 3.44 billion, which just, you know, um, looking around the country at what other states are getting with far fewer cases, that just doesn't provide the support we need to make sure that all of our towns and municipalities are, are supported, are able to keep running their police and fire departments and teachers and support this distance learning. So uh, we need more help here in the region. Congresswoman, why is it do you think that some states that don't have as many cases are getting more money than they should and New Jersey and New York is getting less? I, I'd hate to theorize that it's politics, but it does seem like some of these states that are getting more money are red states and New Jersey and New York are Democratic states. Do politics play into this? Well, you know, New York and New Jersey have not been doing well with federal funding. Uh, the one thing I always point to is uh, the state and local tax deduction cap or SALT. Um, that's been very hard on our states. Um, so we really are fighting back hard on this one though, because as you know, we have about 45% of the cases in New York and New Jersey and yet we only got about 9% of the hospital funding. So the formulas, the, the regulatory formulas developed have not been good for our state. And yet we are one of the states that has been most hard hit by this. And so both our, you know, everyone in our congressional delegation, Democrat and Republican alike, has been fighting hard to get us the funds we need. I'm glad that you brought up the SALT deductions. If you allow SALT deductions again, that would be a way of putting money back into people's houses. Is that part of any stimulus bill coming up? I had been advocating very strongly. I was told that it would be a part of um, the coronavirus package. I um, have been pushing hard to find out more information on that. Um, the whole delegation has been invested We've all been advocating hard. Uh, I'm on a letter with Hakeem Jeffries, who's got, I have our whole delegation. He has the whole New York delegation on that letter um, to leadership, and he's a member of leadership. So I'm working very hard. We did pass legislation to get rid of the cap through the House at the end of last year, um, but it hasn't gone through the Senate. So I would like to see it as part of the relief package to provide some relief to, to families here in New Jersey. There has been some talk of including infrastructure, and the talk came from the president, and I would think that most Democrats in the delegation would be all for spending some money on infrastructure in the, in the next stimulus bill. Are you on board? Yes, I would love, I have been 
um, working relentlessly to get shovels in the ground for the portal bridge and the gateway tunnel project. Leadership of the Democratic Party has said recently that they will not approve any stimulus bills going forward if there's not money directly for states and not just businesses. Do you agree with that? I, I agree with that. We have got to get money into our state and local governments, uh, especially here in New Jersey. We have taken on such a huge burden through no one's fault to fight the coronavirus. So we have towns that have put an extra amount of money into 911 services, into their first responders, into unfortunately mortuary services. We have teachers that are now teaching remotely and all it took to set up all of the digital learning. Um, we just we have this all going on at a time when people are losing their jobs, not able to pay some of their taxes or utilities. So all, all the things we need to do to get people through this, to keep people safe, and to attack this health crisis, um, we we need some support for. We're going to need the federal government to support us, so so we can get out from the on the other side of this and really have a strong economy. So just quickly you would not support any stimulus bill going forward unless there was money directly going into state governments and local governments? I, I would have to have a huge incentive that would help make New Jersey whole otherwise. Congresswoman, thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. I hope we can talk again soon. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. That was 11th District Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill. When we come back, we'll talk to the head of the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce, about the governor's plans to reopen the state.